welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's almost Easter. Like, where is 2016 going? Seriously, Easter is my favorite time of year. It's when my family all gets together and my grandpa does a treasure hunt on our family's farm and I just love it. So I get really excited around this time of year. So today I'm going to be showing you 10 different Easter nail art ideas. I must say at the start, it was the first time that I've ever filmed my right hand, so doing the nails with my left hand because normally I just film one hand. I only do like up to five different designs, but this time I've decided to do 10 to give you guys like the ultimate Easter nail art guide. So you'll just have to bear with me with some of the designs because I'm a little bit shakier than usual. That's only because I'm using my non-dominant hand. So keep watching if you would like to see how to do some cute Easter nail art designs. design I'm going to do is some luscious green grass because when I think of Easter I think of hunting for Easter eggs as a kid and often these were hidden in the grass in our backyard. I've started off with a white base and then coming in with a fine striper brush and painting some thin lines with this light pastel green polish to create the grass look. I'm then coming in and doing the same with a slightly darker green polish and there you have it some easy long grass. The second design I'm going to do is a pastel ombre design because Easter is all about bright colours and pastels. I won't go into too much detail about this because I literally just uploaded a full tutorial on how to do pastel ombre nails on my channel the other day, so I'll leave that linked down below, but basically I'm using a clean up product around my cuticles and then sponging on three different shades of polish onto a makeup sponge and then transferring that over onto my nail to create the ombre effect. I'm then just coming in and cleaning up any excess polish around my cuticles with a cleanup brush and some acetone. For my middle finger, I'm going to do a cute little Easter bunny. I'm starting off with a purple base color. Once that's dry, I'm coming in with some white polish and with the tip of the nail polish brush, I'm painting a semicircle starting from about the center of the nail. For the bunny's ears, I'm coming in with a fine nail art brush and some white polish and painting a long thin ear on the left side of the bunny's face and then just coming in with a light pastel pink and filling in that ear and just leaving a tiny bit of white around the edge of the ear. And then for the other ear, I'm going to make this like a folded over kind of bunny ear. So I'm drawing that folded over ear shape with white and then again, I'm coming in with the pink and just kind of adding that little pink into the inside of the bunny's ear. I'm then grabbing a dotting tool and with the same pink polish I'm adding a tiny little pink dot in the centre of the bunny's face as a nose. I'm then coming in with a black polish and adding three very thin lines from each side of the nose as whiskers. I'm then grabbing an even smaller dotting tool and adding two tiny black dots on either side of the bunny's face to make the bunny's eyes. The next design I'm going to show you is this cute little carrot because bunnies love carrots, right? <laughs> Um, I'm using a fine nail art brush and a light orange polish and painting a long triangle shape from the top of the nail to the tip and then filling that in. I'm then coming in with a darker shade of orange and outlining the carrot with a fine nail art brush. Using the same brush I'm then going to add some texture to the carrot by adding some thin lines horizontally across the carrot using the same darker shade of orange. I'm then going to add the little green stalk to the top of the carrot. I'm not really sure what this is called. So I'm painting some thin green lines sprouting out from the top of the carrot, just like we did for the green grass design before. And there you have it, a carrot for the bunny. The next design I'm going to do is a speckled egg. Just bear with me a little while while I get my thumb used to filming. I've never filmed my thumbs before ever, so this is totally weird. So I'm starting off with a white base and I'm then grabbing a fan brush and dipping it into this bright shade of pink and then lightly dabbing the tip of the fan brush onto my nail. The shape of the brush will leave a speckled kind of effect on your nail and so I'm then going to do the exact same thing with a few different shades of pink and voila, we have some speckled eggs. Moving on to my right hand and as I said before, you're going to have to bear with me because this is the first time ever filming with my non-dominant hand. 
So the first design I'm going to do is chocolate because we all know one of the best parts of Easter is the chocolate. So I'm starting off with a chocolatey brown kind of base color. Once that's dry, I'm going to come in with a thin striper brush and some black polish and very awkwardly paint some thin vertical lines down my nail and then do the same in the opposite direction to create a kind of checkered effect. This will be the basis of the block of chocolate. I'm then coming in with a nude polish and painting an L shape at the top of each of the boxes we've just created. And once I've done that for each of the boxes, I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of each box, but in black. So creating an L shape diagonally across from the other ones we've just done. And this is really hard to explain, but as you can see, it's kind of giving that three dimensional chocolate effect, like a block of chocolate. The next design we're going to be doing is a baby chick. So I've decided to do a plain background for this one. So I've just done a base coat. I'm then coming in with a bright yellow polish and like what we did before for the bunny, I'm painting a semicircle at the bottom of the nail. I'm going to do two coats of this yellow polish so that it's fully opaque. And once that's dry, I'm coming in with a fine nail art brush and some brown polish and just painting three little lines sprouting out from the top of the chick's head. This will just be like little tufts of hair. <laughs> and then I'm going to come in with some orange polish and my fine nail art brush and paint a little triangle shape down towards the bottom of the chick's head, which will be a beak. And then with a very small dotting tool, I'm coming in and placing two little dots on either side of the chick's face to create the eyes. So for the next design, we're just going to be doing some patterned Easter eggs. It's a little bit shaky because again, as I said, I was using my left hand, but we got there in the end, so bear with me. I'm painting on to a white base, just doing like a chevron kind of zigzag um, line down the bottom of the nail. Now you could use nail vinyls for this if you wanted to, but I'm freehanding it today. I'm then going to do the same thing a little bit further up on the nail, but in purple. And then I'm coming in with a dotting tool and dotting on some pastel green spots on either side of those zigzags. And for my other thumb, I'm going to do one of my go-to nail art designs, which is just a simple dotter cure. So I've started off with a white base and then I'm coming in with a dotting tool and a few different shades of pink and just randomly dotting on those different polishes to create a kind of bubbly, dotty cure effect. I just think this is really cute and simple and it definitely fits in with the Easter theme. For the next design, I got a little bit creative. I actually grabbed a tiny little lint bunny from the supermarket and I unwrapped that and we're going to use the foil for some nail art. So I just pulled off a little bit of that foil and then chopped it up into tiny little shards of foil. I'd then already done a white base on my pinky nail and I painted a coat of quick dry top coat. Then using a wax pencil, I carefully placed the little shards of gold foil onto my nail, creating a kind of shattered gold or mosaic effect with the foil. I then just came in with some nail scissors and trimmed off any excess foil at the tip of my nail and then just gently pressed it down with my other finger and sealed it in with a top coat. And now speaking of top coat, I'm going to come in and seal in all my other designs with a quick dry top coat. This will make the designs last longer and be extra shiny. the tutorials and picked up some cute Easter nail art ideas for yourselves leave me comments in uh, <laughs> leave me comments down below letting me know which one of the designs I did was your favorite and if you have any family traditions that you do around Easter or any other holiday in particular anyway I hope you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys really soon Mwah. bye